inventory and take a look at item model group and look at the standard and look at the quarantine management because of this checkbox, it enforces the system to use the quarantine warehouses. If you didn't have that, if you didn't associate the quarantine warehouse with the actual warehouse, this value wasn't available and wouldn't let you carry on. Let me prove the concept again. I'm going to remove this line and I'm going to go back right from here to this warehouse of mine. Since this warehouse has been picked, automatically the system filters it, so therefore you don't see any other warehouses, which is a good thing, visualization. If I go ahead and remove the quarantine warehouse right off of here and save it, and go back to the registration form, and add the registration line, it's telling me that you do not have the capability to perform the registration because your actual warehouse is not a quarantine warehouse and has to be associated with the quarantine warehouse. So now if I close it, again, I'm going to go back to the warehouse and I'm going to associate the quarantine warehouse with it. I'm going to save it. And now let's go ahead and try that again. By adding the registration line, no more is going to complain because your default warehouse is associated with the quarantine warehouse.